Oshimoshi Mime Gamers and welcome back to Genshi Impact. Today we are doing the cat event. You recently traveled have seen you and Paimon and cattle elements of strange creatures. But in life of various factors, Paimon would still like to some fun cats. As such, you intended to return to Monster and drop by the cat's tail. Uh, we are back in Monster and as well we think it was Zaya. first thing first. Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh, she's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Hmm, uh, I think she's also here to play with some cats. Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. That doesn't solve our biggest problem though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Hi, Rosaria! And hello to you too, Miss Adventurer! Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Our cat saviors! They've appeared already! Uh... Saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. Sounds like a title we have to live up to. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. I thought it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep swatting at me. They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Heard something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Huh. A kind hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the Honorary Knight and their trusty helper in white. We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. It's perfect topping though, no? Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Hmm. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Ah, I mean... so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. Furball Fortress? Where is that? I'm gonna guess it's... One button again. I'm trying to press V, uh, and it's actually not that far from here. I would say it's in Mono's house. 
Wait a damn minute. <laughs> it's next to Angel's house. Okay, never mind. It was next to Angel's shell. I was about to say. Wait a minute, Mona. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just a regular house. Oh, well, gotta say, Paimo was expecting something a little bigger with fortress in the name and everything. This was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. Of course, not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as the new future owners prove capable and the cat seems like a good fit, they're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. Huh, maybe the... Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us. Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh falling snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Pudding isn't a bad choice either. Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler. But Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Here, kitty kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. It, it's been, what, a minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. Did you see that, Miss Rosaria? She's practically a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Ah, uh, that was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. First things first, though. You gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um, how should Paimon put it? Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. These poor creatures, picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Oh, not like Rosaria. Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria. Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Oh, that's cute. She's so you got nice heels. Ooh, nice toes, lady. Hey, I should look at that. Did Rosaria just smile? I saw it too. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress. And I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem. Just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase. So the more I can learn at this stage, the better. Mm hmm The only I wish though is that if they kept with Rosario's old design, it would have been better. You must take Virgil's request into consideration when setting up your fluffy, flooded home. There are three potentials in the events. Confidence, durability, and artistics. You are required to select one suitable furnishing of each type in such a way that the normal level fits into the three terrible requirements. Exactly, no more and no less. 
The icon of the version power to is on display in the upper left corner of the invoice. In addition to the main tributes, it also provides a small amount of other attributes. There's one, only one unique combination of furnishing that furnishes the attributes needed to complete the challenge. And the furnishing that complements that combination has appearance that complements each other the best. After you have completed your fluffy flying home setup, you can place food into the cat food bowl. To, to be acknowledged by them. After you have fed a cat, you can call the couple cat at the dawn of Meow or invite to play directly. Okay, let's go. Wait, so with cats, that's kind of weird. He's a wolf person. Alright, place stuff down here. Let's see. Comfort in the building? Let's see. The composition should be. So, accessories. I should probably put down more of this. Like, I'm gonna place this one down. And then. Confirmation. I don't trust face. It could break down easily. Can we add the same thing? Or oh, oh, before that actually. Okay, I'm gonna put this. Like more confirmation. And it's just it. Ugh, so mostly comfortability. This should be fine. Save the curse of that met our climbers. Oh boy. Okay, um, the confirmation seems too big apparently, that's what's probably what's going on. Let's see, um, the ability, it needs to be higher than this. What about the ability? Okay, trying to figure this out. Okay, I'm just swinging back and forth. Can I save? Nope. Okay, so tea time and Comforting melody. Okay, that works. Um. Okay, there you go. Okay, requires met. There you go. Okay. <gasps> what should I give? Let's give you fish. It's not way bars if you're because it's probably a jewel. Oh, good dream. Don't play with the razor. I mean, does he play with that as well? Bennett, the fuck is that thing? It's called a cat. That <laughs> is a cat. The kawaii and different cute animals. I thought they were wolves. The fuck no. Okay, let's go play with them. Okay, so you can select the cat from the throne of meows or join by a cat to come and play. The cat's French level are the fellows. Trusted, cherries, inspirable. The eight point when you pet can pet the cat are the right ear. Left ear, face, lower body, upper body, tail, right paw, and left paw. Different cats has their own pets build of the wood shape pattern. Pressing all the cat the pet cat. If your pet wide where the white cat likes it, it's friendly as it will increase, but your value will remain the same or your decreation pets but different to fellas. But play petting the same parts of the cat will cause the friendliness to increase by less and less. Until it's no longer increased at all. As such, you must adjust your pose and pet the cat in different spots. After you have switched off the place, you are paying the certain numbers of times. This cat's weight of friendliness increased will rest across all the body parts like the petted. Once your cat's version level has increased, the next stage is will it did not enjoy being petted may change. And it will may not permit you to pet in new places. Use the need also you can get along with them now. Okay. Okay. Okay, we wanted this for a long time, but the kids are like, nope, not yet. Start the tail. You don't like tails? I'm sorry. What about the pussy? Uh, okay, that actually works. I'm going to keep petting you. Yeah, you like this, don't you? You're looking meow meow. You like that, don't you? Hmm, if you're a girl, I'll go for the nipple too. I'm just kidding, guys, shut up. I'm gonna keep petting you until it goes high enough. If this has multiplayer options, that would be cool. Let's give you uh, the, f the tail. Why can't I pet the tail? You're probably too upset about that. And then let's go for the chesties. Let's go for the belly. Yeah, we should share a special level for the cat. You'll be clearing clear to the void. I'm gonna keep going! Yeah. You like this, don't you? What about the ears? Oh, look the ears, don't you? Oh. Okay, that's the bottom side! Okay, let's, let's, let's go for the chest this area. Can I go for the stomach ears? Can I? Yeah, this is keep touching you all over the body. Yay, just keep touching. He's almost there. He's almost there. Inspiratable. Okay, that's complete. Okay, I can leave. 
It's like no point of me to keep going this. It just is spent playing. Oh! Oh! Hi, Mona! I don't even see you now! She just gave me a jump scale. A little bit. Mona, what you bring here? Meow. Is this me? Okay, excuse me, I wonder if my present on point. Meow. Looks like Snowball does it, even though it's good. Mona, are you trying to speak cat? Try away like a boy. Why did you do that? Hey, the fuck, uh, Ava? Boy, sounds more like a tiger or lion. That's a good way to find me. Key and turn into a scary cat. Uh, Ava, Pokemon. So the ones I with you. You will all get the four ball fortress. Walk up is the right word. Well, happy fun and was I out. So we're more like Costless. Yeah, that's it. Being called a Costless sounds really impressive. <laughs> By the way, great astrologist Mona, are you looking to adopt a cat too since any other astrology observation? Based on my understanding of astrology, it shouldn't be too hard to teach a cat to read a freshly spelled astrology. I might even teach one to help me write manuscripts. Steals a pickle at the snowball. Boldly steals at the snowball! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I second that, maybe not. One to go to read the story, but the little of us today was the tonight would not suck it to cover my enemy insisting. If I really needed insistence, it would be better just take a trip to Falte or recruit some staff members from the star board or finally a message of who can use the temple and bring it back to the monster. Well, I too will adopt a cat, and more it will be a play with a bit to relax and relieve the stress from the stress One must be a bad owner. When you get tired, it would be best if you get tired enough to cap and not well. But I said foot in here, an image I have with cats will be just a joy. Ah, how would all life will be just a way to happen like this? <laughs> Look at you going to be really your own. Guess this cat's gonna be a fine hand! But also heard some cats are gonna be quite rugged bushes. Also jump your brown, budding and climb the furniture. Imagine my manuscript was only to ruined by this fucking villain Kenny. That'd be troublesome indeed. Me is the hour put your books. Probably get better imagine something so hella terrifying. Snowball looks quite well behaved, but seems not to compel my meaning. Perhaps we like a special connection. Shall I let the observe a bit more, you know? Give me an eye for putting the cats. Oh, and I must get the cost of cat bed, cat boots, and other things. Not too luscious, but also not so shabby. Wouldn't do but the cat a hardship. It's okay, take your time. Yeah, I've always said that the shield up even more strange in the future, so even more cats catch your eye today. You can always come back often to play and have a look. Yeah. Okay, that seems to have to do. So we got another one to place around. Uh, number two, comfortability. Uh, Aztec seems to be like more I should do. But at the same time, the comfort vision and the posse should be more. Hey, I did good. That was easy. Okay, we got. So we got another cat here. What if I give you chicken? Okay, let's give you some. Uh, no, I'm trying to give you this one. Protein! A grey and white cat eligible to wrap up a single well song. Whoa! Oh my god, Ben, that one is great! That's because that's a different breed! Breed as in having s- oh, yeah, I, I, uh, No, I wanna say it like that! Let's play with you two! We got more cats to touch. Uh, let's see what you touch the uh, Of course, that's more. Now let's go for the, let's go for the nipple. But uh, the chest area, yeah, I know. Shut up. And then let's go for the, the thighs. The thighs. Oh, you like the thighs, huh? You like that? Okay. And let's go for the tail. You don't want a tail! Some cats are okay with that. Don't know why you don't want that. Or oh, Genji's like, no, you don't have to put that down. Okay, let's just keep pinning you down so you get to a higher point. Let's keep going. The head. Head pets. And then let's go for the chest. And then the armpits. You don't want the arm? Okay, never mind that. I'll go for the head. Oh, let's keep doing this. Yeah, let's keep oh, now zero points. Okay, that's ten points. The belly. Mm -hmm. The belly. Yeah, you keep enjoying that, don't you? Huh? Okay, let's go for the eels. Eels? There you go, the eels. Yeah, let's go for this. Eels again. <laughs> this is what I do with pets too. I go for the eels too. Even cats. Okay, and let's go boy. You don't want that anymore? You don't want the chest anymore? boy? What you want? The belly? What about your paw? You don't want the paw? Okay, what do you want now? The chest? Maybe the tail? Okay, there you go. Okay, your score is high now. I'm out. 
It just says play with the cats. Amber, what you doing here? Are these cats so cool, right, Uma? Why am I even here in the first place? Oh, Amber's here, by the way. I'm just curious. Meow, 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 meow. Bob, Bonnie, and Amber have a point. Oh, so that's it. Uh, Amber, accuracy absurd. Actually, Bonnie doesn't really get it either, but she can't tell that Amber and Bonnie has reached an understanding. Ether, Paimon, you're here! I was just thinking about going to look for you. I heard about you all having veggie with a football fortress. That's the Ether and Paimon for you. The second you're back in Monster, you've already been such a huge help. I, the Ariad, will fulfill my mission, no matter the nature. Second wish, which were you and Bonnie discussed just now? You seem to be having a really fun conversation. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, I'm just asking Bonnie about the weather and whether or not we'll be waiting. Huh? The cat's not that kind of thing? <laughs> this isn't about that. According to the book she read, cats are very sensitive to humidity and don't like to feel it wet, bend, very wet. So if you notice a certain increase of the engine, they'll still nervously point the face and licking the fur. Once the cat does things like that, it's a sign that a large cousin is like on that way. Wow! Papa has noticed that's so cool! Guess we are learning something by accident. In any case, Ether, let's pay money to the cats to our travel. Do it, we won't keep getting sucked by a huge downpour from those big black clouds. I suppose we have to pay more attention going forward. I already gave it to ask really about something, but just as I was walking here, the little kitty stuck up close to me and yawned so loud, it was just so kawaii! Since she was so unfortunately towards me then, well, when I need to show how friendly I am too, that's when I remember what Lisa told me, so I went ahead and asked Bunny about the weather. But then she smiled my weapon face, then waggled her tails that lay on the ground sank against my hand. Ah, so I should go to wait or not go in a few days. Hmm, I don't know. What a surprise. This is upstairs area? I'll check that out as soon as I do the next one. Oh, wait, is that it? What's upstairs actually? Is there any more room up here? It's empty. Can I play with the castle? Oh, I could. So, from my understanding, um, this is a very short event. So, here's what I'll do. I'm going to wait until the last three are unlocked so I can continue the series. Oh, I'm going to there. Last subscribe, I'll see you later. Sorry,